Hello everybody, it's Ronnie with Whip and Chain. I work with Maggie and Lauren to bring you crochet tutorials. And today we got, let me move you over a little bit. Today we got a nice one. This is a typical granny square, but it's done in rectangle. rectangle. And I think it's been kind of taboo and it's really not been seen a lot, but these rectangles can be done much larger if you want. And you can actually make a very nice blanket. You can just continue growing it. And also I've seen them used as, um, these can be used to make coats for young children, for adults. You can make, um, you can mix match them if you make them. You can do two, two rectangles going this way. There's so much you can do with the rectangle granny square. So I'm gonna show you the basics of them so you can run and do what you want but I wanted to show you I also done one in a solid color and I don't think it's as stand out ish I guess or you know but it still is pretty it's still a beautiful crocheted granny square and like I said you can keep growing these and growing these and growing these all right so we're gonna dive into this I will recommend uh, you need one stitch marker just for the very beginning. I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook and I'm using my clover. Now the size of your rectangle is done in um, a chain of three to you get to the length that you want of your rectangle. And then when you get the length that you want in threes, add two more stitches. Okay. I'm not going to do a real big one because this is just an example on how you do them. So I'm going to do, I'll do 12 plus 2, 14. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And take your time on your counts. Counts are really important on this, um, on your beginning chain, okay? So when you get your count you want, you want third chain from the hook, go right in and make a single crochet. And then after you do that, this is where this chain three, this little loop, if you mark it with a stitch marker, it's going to be so much easier to find when you need to get to it. Okay, just a suggestion. And then I just want you to single crochet, one single crochet, and every remaining stitch all the way down. When you get all the way down, I want you to turn your work and chain three. One, two, three. And in that same chain, coming out where you did your three single crochets, put in two more double crochets. One and two. So now you got three double crochets in the same first stitch. Then I want you to skip two and in the third one, again, put in three double crochets. Skip two and your third one, three double crochets. And that's what you don't do. You don't do three double crochets, skip two, three double crochets, 
until you have two stitches left. And three. Let me get some yarn going for me. Alright, so now where your stitch marker is, I want you to go right in there and make three more double crochets. Once you have that spot that you're working out of established, you can definitely take out your stitch marker. Okay? So chain two after you did your three, and that same spot where you went in, do three more double crochets. chain two and again in that same spot do three double crochets this is your turn this is your turning point all right now if you look at this bunch at the on the other side Right above it, there should be, here's your cluster, that's where you went in, and there should be one more opening right there. Or you can count, you can skip two. Whatever works for you, so it's skipping two, or matching them from the other side. Okay? <coughs> and put in three double crochets. One. Two. And three. Skip two and put in three double crochets. And skip two, three double crochets. And three. Okay. Now you're at the end. So you go into the same stitch where you did this, where they're pulling out of right here. Go right in there and do three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, and again do three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, and then your starting point. Here's your chain three. Okay, so you just go to the top of that chain three and you slip stitch. And now you started your rectangle. Okay, now if you want to change colors, all you have to do is chain one, Cut your yarn and then pick up whatever your next color is. Do your slip knot. And I start in the space before where I tied off. Okay, so I go in there. Pull it through. And go through. 
Now, chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. That's a double crochet, chain two. And then go in that same spot and put in three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Now I'm working over my yarn so I don't have to worry about weaving it in. So you go to your next gap right there. And that's a corner. So a corner is three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, and three double crochet all in the same spot. Alright, so your next gap, then three double crochets. See how I'm carrying the yarn tails, the white and the brown to cover it, to lock it in so I don't have to weave. And you skip to the next stitch and you do your three. And that's probably covered enough so I can, look at that, they're gone. Less weaving. Go into your next gap, do your three, one. Now, when I was doing these, practicing before I came on, I accidentally put four double crochets in one of the stitches. And when I tried to lay it flat, it would not lay right. It just kept up, like popping up on me. Very noticeable. So I don't consider this a pattern where it's really okay to accidentally add stitches. It's going to throw the balance of it off. Okay. These are your corners. Your corners are always going to be three double crochet. Chain two. And three double crochet. My yarn's getting tangled up. I do apologize. All right. So next corner, go right in there. Do three double crochet. One, two, three. Chain two, and three double crochet. Go to your next gap, three double crochet, one, two, three. See how nice this is? Once you get rocking and rolling, this is a very nice pattern. And what's nice is you can make your rectangle as big as you want. And you can just keep going and going and going until you reached your desired size of your granny square. And then 
or three more. And then when you go to get back to your corner that you started, this chain five, so you already did one of the three double crochets. So you go back in there and you just make two more double crochets. And to the third chain up, and slip stitch. And go into center and slip stitch. And there is your second row. Of granny squares. All right, then all it is is repeating now. So, like I said, I always go into a corner before it. So, my slip stitch got my yarn through, chain up, oh, go through once, chain five, one, two, three. Four and five and then you put in three more double crochets but make sure you're carrying your end so you can cover it so this is one two and three okay your next gap three See how nice this is? This is a typical granny um, stitching. The only difference is their corners are right here. And every corner is three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And this is how you do this. This is, um, this can grow really fast. This is a very easy project to do while you're watching TV or watching a movie. Um, but it's great. So that is the basics of this. It is the same as this row that I showed you. But when you get to your corners, once you start having gaps in here, you put your three double crochets. That's it. Would you like me to get to it and I can show you? That way you can see. I can do that. So, I can cut this tail out of there. Boop. The next one. Okay, now I'm in the corner, right here. So I do my three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, three more. And three. Now we have a gap right there. And go in there and do your just do your three double crochets. And then you have a corner again. So your corner is three double crochets. One. Two, three, chain two, and three double crochet. Three. And then you go down your runway. And if you look, the only weaving is where we started. And actually, I weave that in when we were starting. So this is how you make a rectangle granny square. 
I want to thank you for watching our videos. If you enjoyed this and you are learning, can you please hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom? We would greatly so much appreciate it. And come find us on Facebook under WIP, W-I-P, for work in progress, and chain. So it's WIP and chain, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Happy crocheting, everybody. Bye.